have always been uneasy driving alone at night. It was worse the first few times, when I had just gotten my license. But the nagging fear has never gone away to this day. It's disorienting to look into the mirrors and see nothing. And I mean nothing, but the consuming blackness of the night. It makes me hesitant to check the mirrors. Should I see this dark void or, worse, someone sitting in my back seat staring at me? In the summer of 2013, I found myself driving home alone on Highway 902 from a party. It was almost midnight, and needless to say, it was pitch black. As was usual at night, I was on edge. I had the radio off and could hear nothing but the muffled roar of tires on pavement and the dull hum of the engine. I stole a glance into the middle rearview mirror and saw nothing but darkness through the back window. I know that I looked backward and saw nothing. I'm sure of it, just as the seemingly endless blackness of the night. I remembered so clearly because not ten seconds later, a car passed me to the left, headlights on. I had one of those sudden adrenaline rushes like when you think you see a person outside your bedroom window when it's just a tree, or when you start awake at night with a feeling of falling. Tech ten seconds earlier, nothing had been behind me. Suddenly, a car. I drove all the way home shivering and knowing something was off. The next morning, I found two sets of scratches near the back of my van. One was on the left rear, one was on the right. The car was pretty old. It could have been there for months, but that was the first time that I distinctly remember seeing them. In hindsight, there are two possibilities for what happened that night. Possibility one, by some glitch in reality or something paranormal, this other car had somehow appeared behind me within ten seconds of me checking my mirror, like some weird ghost crap or something. However, the second option is what makes my blood run cold whenever I consider it. It didn't even occur to me until months after the fact, but it makes me dread driving alone at night even more. Possibility 2. The car was normal. It had approached me from the rear and passed me to my left. However, something large and wide and as black as the night had been clinging to the rear of my car, obscuring my view through the window and leaving deep scratches on the sides. And I had inadvertently driven it home with me.